What an interesting combination of sports fandoms we're bringing to you now. These two <laughs> human beings, that is the sinister laugh of Shea Serrano. He is working with uh, that coward Mike Schur, who cannot watch his Celtics play basketball, is scared of the Miami Heat, and hasn't appeared here coward. for two days because he's afraid of the Miami Heat. He has reemerged to maybe kind of promote a show they're doing together, but the writer's strike I, uh, might prohibit them from actually promoting that show. So instead... Instead of making fun of the cowardice of Mike Schur, we will begin with Spurs fan Shea Serrano. Mike Ryan, why don't you go ahead and on Shea Serrano's big day today. The Spurs are bad for a year at a time, and then they get the monster guy. Uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. You and Jeremy were talking about the Spurs would have won the first pick, the second pick, the third pick. They would have won all <laughs> of the lottery ball picks last night because everything was rigged in their favor. And Mike Ryan has just gotten done, Shea, on this big day for you as a Spurs mm -hmm. fan saying mm -hmm. that for sure to the spoiled goes the victor. He's going to physically break. Yeah. Way too big to be playing on the outside. He's a Chet Holmgren waiting to happen. So congratulations on going counterculture because, honestly, I would readily admit that the San Antonio Spurs have a, an argument to be the most marquee franchise of the NBA in the 21st century. And what I saw last night in San Antonio and around the Alamo was disgusting. A celebration of tanking goes against everything I've been learned. Uh, I've learned to believe about that franchise. <laughs> Certainly something I could never do root for a loss so I could have a chance at a generational talent like that all just to be disappointed when he inevitably holds out and goes on a load management program signs a super max gets your hopes up and then we'll play 50% of the games like Zion not Williamson. appropriate today how not, dare not you. appropriate wrong <laughs> wrong for him to do this to you today are you allowed to cuss on this show yeah all right well first you second yeah. There's no way I'm going to sit here and, like, take serious a guy in a camouflage hat. Like, that's just not – I'm sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're in like, a green – wait, goofy. you're in kind of in a green camo cap and mine says – Nice hat! It's not yeah. camo. <laughs> mine not says camo. 305 and the 5 has a little flame on it, like the Heat logo, because my team is in the playoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A celebration of winning. Also, Shay, yeah. you don't listen to uh, the show enough. You don't listen to the show enough to know this, but Mike is doing a thing here because – Heading into the in the playoff in the I'm, play -in I'm, tournament, he was. I'm familiar. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you yeah. understood what was going on. No, here. I just I like to say any chance I can. I like to tell Mike to off via That's text, smart. via if I see him at the grocery store, at a funeral for a, a loved one, I just throw it out there. I'm feeling real good today. We're back, baby. The fucking Spurs are. <laughs> back can you believe it can you believe it i've actually been so good i've actually been told we can't curse anymore you can't curse quite that much okay yeah. uh oh, that's... all right i'm done i use them all uh, i use them nice all move too much uh, i mean i mean what would you tell what would you be telling right now shay a spurs fan uh like he is very passionate mm -hmm. about this i mean that is it, Every franchise in the world wants what he got yesterday. Mm -hmm. He got mm -hmm. he got the the person that LeBron is saying this person is beyond Jokic, beyond this this person is unlike anything to ever enter the league. Mm -hmm. I, the question I would ask is: Has Pop changed? Because we know that his ornery ways that were so instrumental in them being successful earlier in his coaching career was also probably the reason why he ran off Kawhi Leonard. Or, or, you know, Kawhi Leonard left. DeJounte Murray is another guy who wasn't exactly enthralled by his experience in San Antonio. So has Pop changed, or is he going to run off this kid as well? Nah, we're good. He wants to be here. That's the difference. Yeah. Kawhi wanted to be in L.A. There was nothing you could do to keep Kawhi out of L.A. There's nothing insane. you could do to keep DeJounte here. But, 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 but our guy, Vic, the big W – wants to be here that's a good question he wants you know what happened yesterday when i was watching i was watching the pre-draft show and Woj was like the most highly anticipated anticipated player ever to enter the nba maybe the greatest prospect in the history of pro sports and i was like all right re relax a little bit Woj. and then the spurs got him and i was like the greatest prospect <laughs> in the history of team sport like like i was immediately i immediately bought in listen 2017 was the last time the spurs were good 2018 we lost in the first round to the warriors 2019, we lost to the Nuggets in the first round. 2020, squad douche. 2021, squad douche. 2022, squad douche. 20, 
Our 2023 record was 22 and 60. That's almost the exact same record we had when we won the Duncan lottery, which was 20 and 62. It's almost the exact same record we had when we won the Robinson lottery. We were, or before he showed up, we were 21 and 61 the year before he showed up because we drafted him, but he couldn't play for a couple of years because of, because of the Navy, the Navy. The next year we were 56 and 26, same with Duncan. We went from 20 and 62 to 56 and 26 and started winning championships shortly thereafter. We're back, baby. We are back. You say, all of y'all Miamians. You, you we never that. left. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Yeah. We don't get to say we're back yeah, because yeah. we never left. Yep. What do you mean you never left? We never we left. Won a title. We, we, the Spurs won a title last before y'all. Yeah, and you lost your generational superstar. They won, and we were right back with zero cap space were, and a whole bunch of asshole attitude go along with it. So much so that your compadre, Mike Schur, over there is afraid to watch us. What is that? What's up with that, you coward, Mike Sure, What is this? I'm not going to watch the game. Let me tell you something. You guys have been <laughs> saying this for days now. You've been talking about how I'm a coward uh, because I won't watch the games. This isn't a revelation. I told you this months ago that I'm too scared to watch the game. You're not, like, making a point. You're not scoring points on me. I told you so long ago that I'm too scared to watch the games. What point do you think you're making? I don't understand how you think you're you're dunking on me by saying this. Like I admitted this, you're like you're always like, oh, I, we're living in his head rent free. Yes, I told you that. <laughs> told you that in December that you live in my head rent free. What? What? How do you think we're, you're making an interesting point by saying this on the air? We're letting Shane know, and Shay, the same way that champagne was sprayed all over those San Antonio sports bars, that was me. The second that our partners at DraftKings released this line, are you kidding me? Seven and a half. <laughs> Seven and a half. Plus, I'd take a minus seven and a half. I need to ask you a question right now. I don't watch Heat games because I care, and Celtics games because I care too much. You guys who are Heat fans and live in Miami don't watch Heat games because you don't care at all. Correct. Which is the worst? Yes. Yeah. We're here. Don't care at all. Here. Same. Same. Same journey. Different path. I uh, need to point out a couple of things to the audience uh, because Mike sure is, I would say, a better sports fan than uh, than most people. But he's also a coward and that he volunteers that cowardice (laughs) makes it no less cowardly. I would also say that your aggressive voice is less aggressive than our aggressive voice. You sound like you're, you're you don't even want to. aggressive voice is worse than your normal voice. Your trash talk is like fundamentally decent. It's you, like John Mulaney complaining to a manager. It's not trash talk. Not I'm not cocaine. trash talking you. I'm pointing out that you, that that entire. You're doing it again. Whatever you're calling it, mission control shipping container. You are all, you live in Miami. And you don't watch your own team. We got stuff to do. No, Mike. I, I watch care. them now, yes. dog. Like I'm, now no, that the playoffs worse. are every going, second, I've, been, that's I've watched worse. every second of the playoffs. <laughs> that's Calm so down, much worse. Mike. That is the worst sure. kind of fandom. That you don't care all year, and then if your team happens to be good, you tune in. Welcome to Miami. That's the worst. Yeah, welcome to Miami. That's right. That's what you guys are all about. Yeah, yeah but congratulations. You, but yeah. do you, do you realize sports that not unlike. Uh, the- we can't all just put our needs on shows and watch sports all day, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not unlike the Florida Panthers beating Toronto. You do understand that part of what makes it funny is Boston cares so much and the Panthers beat the Bruins. Yeah. Boston cares so much and Mike Ryan just tuned in to be a loudmouth. Mike, I, I just want to point out, I don't know if you know this, but Mike Ryan revealed to us in the last segment that he goes home every night and tunes into the hub. Yeah. He just Before in, I go to bed, I got to visit the hub. That, cranking, yeah. Yeah. cranking it to the hub. I just cranked the hub. Oh, the hub. A smile from ear to ear. And then after I'm done with the hub, I can finally go to sleep. But the Boston Sports Hub, it makes me feel alive. I need it before bed. It's incredible. Listen, it's causing a serious <laughs> rift in his relationship. I, I, I don't want to... I don't want to kink shame here, but this is weird behavior on your part. This is very weird behavior, and I don't think it's healthy, and I think you need to talk to someone. Wow. Okay, uh, weak, weak trash talk. <laughs> also, if I, it's not trash talk. You don't get to be a better fan than concerned. me just because you get to go to it's bed concerned. at a reasonable time because you get to watch fan. the Nuggets. He is a better sports He's on the fan. West Coast. Put your ass over here on the East Coast. I guarantee you, you would also be learning last night that Jokic is good.
<laughs> Can I tell you guys something really funny, which is that I muted Parakeet Cortez on Twitter so long ago, like so long ago. And there is a glitch in my Twitter that where it doesn't work. And somehow he it's like he's shouting at me so loudly it busts through the Twitter algorithm that needs people. <laughs> like I, can't, I can't get rid of But I also can't I can't unfollow him or block him because I don't want to give him the satisfaction. So I'm just stuck every time he tweets something at me. I'm stuck. Thank you. Look at this. Celtics in two. Thank you, Juju. What, this is great. What are you going to do when Haywood Highsmith's hold? Uh, does he have an S at the end? Is no. it Haywood Highsmith or Highsmith? Highsmith. Highsmith. What are you going to do when Haywood Highsmith <laughs> shuts down Jason Tatum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're going to play Highsmith against Tatum. I think it's Highsmith's. <laughs> I, I want to go back to something that Shay said. He said Victor Wembanyama wants to be in San Antonio. Yep. Tell me that he's never been to San Antonio by telling me he's never been to San Antonio. Who says that? Who wants to be in Sh San Antonio? Shay, Shay, when you, you know who what? says that? You know who says that? The greatest prospect in the history of team sports. <laughs> That's right. That's who says that. Uh, the funny we thing. We don't need everybody to say it. We uh, need one guy to say you, it. You do, but and that I, one guy. When you said the greatest I, prospect when in you the history of that, team sports, that, according to Woj. When you said it, Shay, my initial thought is he's going to look great in a Miami uniform in four years. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. That'll be the first time that you guys see him play. Is if, he, if, he's if there's central time, you bet it. You bet you. <laughs> you bet your ass. I'll watch him in four years. Same thing with Zion. I haven't actually seen Zion play for the Pelicans. I'm just waiting for him to be a Nick. I've seen him eat a Pelican. <laughs> oh, come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. And Get you out know out what? Multi-segment penalty. Get out of here. That was what? Yes. How wow. dare you? I've seen him How dare eat you a take apart no, someone for their appearance? Tony, go with him. Yeah. Uh, Oh, what? I, what? I've seen him eat a pelican. Uh, oh. Mike Schur, you mentioned. <laughs> I trust Kyle Lowry all of a sudden. Mike Schur, you mentioned uh, Ju Juju came into the room. He's wearing a Celtics jersey. We're largely audio. Thank you for not explaining to the audience that Juju had come in wearing a Celtics jersey and it's Celtics in two. What can we say about your partnership with Shea Serrano? You guys decided to do a show together. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you decided to do a show together. I don't know how you found each other. And what can you say in the middle of the, f the writer's strike? Well, we're trying not to do any promotion. So we'll simply say that the show we worked on, uh, which is called Primo, that is uh, roughly autobiographical, semi-autobiographical from Shea Serrano, uh, hits freebie this Friday. That's the extent of what we'll say, other than that we think it's really good and you should watch it. Um, but Yeah, we, baby. We made it and we, we met five, six years ago because Shea came out to L.A. to meet with some people to talk about this show idea he had. We met in my office, and uh, we just literally talked about the NBA for like an hour. We didn't talk <laughs> about TV at all. We just talked about the NBA. And then at the end, I was like, hey, man, if you want to do a show, I'd love to help you. And he was like, cool. That was the extent of the, uh, the meeting mm -hmm. and the origin story of this whole partnership. Taking notes here. All right. Talk basketball before pitch a yeah, show. Yeah, nobody right, at Metal yeah, if any of you, If any of you had watched basketball, you could talk to me about basketball <laughs> and we could do a show together, but you've never watched any basketball. Uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate your time. Uh, congratulations, <laughs> Shay, on both the show, uh, the show and that you've got a superstar who's going to get injured next year. Thank you. Thank What's you, Dan. I really you? appreciate what you saying that. With you? Did you know that Darvin <laughs> Ham coaches now? Oh it's wild. Oh <laughs> Thank you.